And this exercise will help you set realistic expectations about how much you can earn in Canada and you can decide whether it's actually worth moving to Canada or not. But once you graduate or once you actually land in Canada, you know exactly which companies to apply to and what to expect. And that's why this is the most powerful tool that you have at your disposal. What's up YouTube, it's Shivansh here and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you guys message me on Instagram asking about what is the scope of nursing in Canada, what is the scope of digital marketing in Canada or what is the scope of 100 other such professions in Canada which frankly I know very little about. So I thought why not make a video about how you can figure out what is the scope of your profession in Canada by doing a little bit of research. My main reason to make this video is so that you can be equipped with all the tools that you need in order to decide if your career has a good scope in Canada or not. And if you follow the strategy that I'm going to tell you in this video, then you'll be able to figure out what is the average salary for your profession in Canada, which province has a better scope and what are the future prospects of your career or your profession in Canada. And after watching this video, you will no longer need my validation or anybody else's validation to know if your career has a good scope in Canada or not. So if you are new to this channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any useful videos about studying or working in Canada and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because that gives me a huge motivation to keep going and keep creating such useful content for you. With that being said, let's start this video. Now if you are coming to Canada as an international student then the tools that I'll be sharing with you in this video will help you do the research so that you can figure out which course you should choose or which province has a better scope and good job opportunities for your field or for your profession and even if you are coming to Canada on a PR then these tools will help you understand which exact province has a better scope or has better job opportunities for your profession so that once you land in Canada you are very sure and very clear about which province and which exact city you should start your life in. So let's get into my laptop and take a look at the very first tool that you have at your disposal. So what you have to do is go to your browser and do a search for Canada Job Bank trend analysis and then you can click on the very first link which says trend analysis explore the market job bank so this is the official website provided by the government of Canada and here you can explore the job market conditions for different types of occupations and you can also search by wages and also the prospects of different fields so for now I just want to explore the market by occupation so I'll leave it at that and now here in occupation let's search for project managers so in the drop down you can see different types of categories of project managers. So the first one is for the construction industry, there's interior design, scientific affairs, there's forester, accountant, assembler, mechanical engineer, project manager, and so on and so forth, belonging to different industries and different categories of occupations. So for now, let's just explore the market for project managers working in the construction industry. So if I click on search, this page will show up and this page is just a summary of all the information that is available about project managers working in Canada in the construction industry and now from here on we can explore the different categories and if you scroll down you'll see a short description of what do project managers in the construction industry do in Canada so you can see that they plan organize direct control and evaluate the activities of a construction company or a construction department within a company and if you scroll down further you'll see that there's a lot of different categories now this is the average salary that a construction project manager makes in Canada and it's $40.87 per hour which is actually pretty good and if we scroll up we can go to the description section now this section will give you a detailed information about what are the job responsibilities of a project manager who works in the construction industry in Canada or construction project managers so you can see that these are the job responsibilities uh, they plan organize direct control evaluate construction projects plan and prepare construction schedules and milestones they develop and implement quality control programs they prepare progress reports and issue progress schedules to clients and they hire and supervise the activities of subcontractors and subordinate staff. And these are some of the job titles that you can have if you actually work as a construction project manager. So you can also have the title of commercial construction manager, construction superintendent, general contractor, pipeline construction manager, housing construction manager. So this will give you a good idea about what you should expect if you want to work in the construction industry as a project manager. Okay, now let's move on to the wages section. 
So this is a very powerful chart because this will give you the average salary of construction project managers in all the different provinces in Canada. So you can see that in Alberta, the construction project managers make about $43.75 on an average and that salary can go up to $76.92 per hour, which is actually really good. And similarly, you can find and compare salaries for all the different provinces. So, so for Ontario, it's $40.91. So immediately we can say that, okay, Alberta probably has a higher salary for construction project managers as compared to Ontario and if you look at Nova Scotia then the average salary is only $38.46 so if you want to work as a construction project manager and if you were thinking of moving to Nova Scotia then maybe it's not really the best option because the salary is a little lower in Nova Scotia as compared to let's say Alberta or BC or you know a lot of these other provinces that are mentioned on this list okay so now let's move on to prospects so this is a very interesting page because here you will see what are the job opportunities for a construction project manager in Canada over the next three years. So as you can see in Alberta, the job prospects look pretty decent. It's a fair rating and uh, it's the job prospects are much better in Northwestern Territories or in Nova Scotia. Now, as we just saw that in Nova Scotia, the average salary of a construction project manager is a little lower as compared to other provinces. However, the government of Canada predicts that over the next three years, Nova Scotia will have a better future for construction project managers. It will have more number of job opportunities as compared to other provinces. And if we scroll down, we can see how are the labor market conditions over the next 10 years. So you can see that the government of Canada predicts that the demand and supply for construction project managers across Canada over the next 10 years will remain in balance, which means that the labor demand and labor supply are expected to be broadly in line for this occupation over the next 10 years. And if you look at the detailed analysis, you'll see that for construction managers from 2019 till 2028, the number of new job openings will be 28,000 and 31,100 new job seekers will actually fill those roles. Okay, now let's move on to the job section. So on the jobs page, you will see all the available jobs for construction project managers across Canada. So you can see that there are 383 job postings in Canada right now. And you will also get a breakdown of how many jobs are available across different provinces. So in Alberta, there are 26 jobs available. In British Columbia, there's 110. In Quebec, there's 127 and so on. Now, I know that this number might seem very low to you that, oh, in Alberta, there's only 26 jobs available, but don't worry, it's nothing like that. This number is only the number of jobs that are posted on the Canadian Job Bank. There are other websites such as LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Indeed, etc. And those websites are much bigger job search platforms. And those websites have a lot more job postings as compared to the Canadian Job Bank. So you should only look at these numbers for reference. The actual number of jobs are a lot more. Now quickly, let's look at the requirements. So this page will give you an idea about what do you need to become a project manager working in the construction industry in Canada. So this page says that you typically need a university degree in civil engineering or college diploma in construction technology and some jobs might require a master's degree in project management, several years of experience in the construction industry including experience as a construction supervisor or a field superintendent are usually required and a professional engineering status or construction trade certification may be required by some employers. And then here you will find some certifications or licenses that you might need to practice as a construction project manager in certain provinces. So for example, in Alberta, if you want to have the title of a residential construction manager, then that's a regulated profession and you need to have a license or a certification by this regulatory body, which is the Apprenticeship Industry Training Office of Government of Alberta. Okay, so now let's look at the last section, which is the skills. Now this section will give you an overall idea about what are the different skills that employers are looking for if they want to hire someone as a construction project manager so here you will see that you need expertise in all these different areas so you need to be able to plan organize direct control and evaluate daily operations you need to be able to prepare reports plan and manage budgets establish and implement policies and procedures for quality control plan and prepare construction schedules and milestones and monitor progress and prepare and submit construction project budget estimates. And to be successful in your role as a construction project manager, you need to have skills of management, analysis, communication and information handling. And you also need to know about business finance and management, engineering and technology, and also a little bit about law and public safety. So you can do a similar exercise for any field or any job title and figure out the exact scope of your profession in Canada. So let's do another very quick analysis. So this time let's search for mechanical engineer. 
Okay, so here again you can see that you can become a mechanical engineer, a mechanical power engineer, design engineer, marine engineer, hydraulic engineer. So there's so many types of mechanical engineers and you can explore the job opportunities for each of those individually, which is amazing. So let's look at a mechanical engineer 2132 for now. And if you go to the description, then you'll see that mechanical engineers research, design and develop machinery and systems for heating, ventilating, air conditioning, power generation, etc. And these are some of the job responsibilities for mechanical engineers. And these are some of the related job titles. So, so a mechanical engineer can also have the title of an automotive engineer, a design engineer, nuclear engineer, fluid mechanics engineer, refrigeration engineer, tool engineer, etc. So by just searching for mechanical engineers, you'll get to know the scope of all these different variations of titles for mechanical engineers in Canada. So if you look at wages, you'll see that across Canada, the median wage is $42, as we discussed before. And then in Ontario, it's $41.83. The lowest wage is in British Columbia, which is $37.50. And the highest one is in Alberta, which is $48.72, which is pretty good. Now, if you look at the job prospects over the next three years, we'll see that uh, Alberta has a good job prospect. Manitoba has a good job prospect. Prince Edward Island, Quebec and Saskatchewan are also pretty good. Ontario has a fair scope along with Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. And here you can and here you can see that over the next 10 years, the government of Canada is predicting that there will be a shortage of mechanical engineers in Canada. So if you are a mechanical engineer and you want to work in Canada, you are in luck because there is going to be a demand for mechanical engineers. And the government of Canada is expecting to face a labor shortage for mechanical engineers from 2019 till 2028. And once again, you can see all the different jobs that are posted in different provinces and you can click on any of these links. So for example, if I click on this one, you'll see all these jobs for mechanical engineers that are posted for Alberta. So you can see that there are so many of these jobs for HVAC engineers from all these different companies, Titan Sheet Metal, Max Heating and Air Conditioning, Wards. So this can be a good resource to apply for jobs as well. Now, if you go back here and let's go to requirements. So let's see what do we need to become a mechanical engineer in Canada. So usually a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering is required or you can also become an engineer in a related discipline. And you also need a master's degree or a doctorate for some specific jobs. Now, this is a very important one. You need a license to practice as an engineer. So so in Alberta, you need to register yourself with the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of Alberta or APEGA. And in Ontario, you need the Professional Engineers of Ontario license. Now you can do a similar research for pretty much any field or any profession and get detailed information about the job market for that specific profession in Canada. And that's why this is the most powerful tool that you have at your disposal that can help you figure out what is the exact salary that you can get once you land in Canada and what are the job market conditions for your profession. And you can get all of this knowledge and all this information for free at the comfort of your home just by using your laptop. And this exercise will help you set realistic expectations about how much you can earn in Canada and you can decide whether it's actually worth moving to Canada or not depending on how much you can potentially earn in this country in your specific profession. And now you don't even have to ask your friends or relatives or even random people on the internet about what what is the scope of your profession in Canada because frankly it's your profession and it's your decision that's going to matter. Now the Canadian Job Bank is a very good resource to get a high level understanding about the scope of your field or the job market conditions in Canada. However, you should only treat this as a starting point of your research. I personally like to do a lot more in-depth research before deciding if I want to work in a specific industry or if I want to pursue a specific career or not. And for that, I use tools such as LinkedIn, Indeed and Glassdoor. Now, we all know that LinkedIn is the biggest professional networking platform in the entire world and Indeed is the biggest job search platform in Canada. So to get a more in-depth understanding about the scope of your field or your profession in Canada, you can search for job postings on LinkedIn and Indeed. And the more you search, the better idea you will get about which are the most popular companies in Canada that hire for people from your profession. And along with this, you will also get a better idea about which province has more number of job openings 
based on the location of the jobs that are posted. So this will help you broaden your horizon and will give you a better understanding of which companies are hiring for people like you and which province has more demand for people in your profession. And you can note down a list of these companies so that once you graduate or once you actually land in Canada, you know exactly which companies to apply to and what to expect. Now another website that I personally love is glassdoor.com. Now Glassdoor is beneficial for two reasons. One is that it will provide you a very good approximation about what is the average salary in your role or in your position in all the companies that you've gathered from your research on LinkedIn and Indeed. And two, it will help you prepare for your job interviews because Glassdoor has a lot of informative material from people who have previously interviewed at that company. So this is how you can use these four tools, the Canadian Job Bank, LinkedIn, Indeed and Glassdoor to figure out what is the scope of your profession in Canada and if you use these tools correctly then you will have the confidence to make the right decision about your career because your decision will be based on thorough research from the most trusted sources rather than believing what other people or random people have to say. So I hope you guys found this video to be useful. If you have any questions then feel free to comment below or you can also follow me on Instagram at shivansingla119 and I'll be happy to answer all your questions. And before you go make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and also give this video a big thumbs up because it's a big motivation for me and I'll see you guys in the next video.